Because the thing about that shroud, too, is it, it doesn't look like there are a whole lot of high spots inside of it that you can get out of. Oh. Oh, fossilized bone, you guys. I'll bet you that's what this is. Look at that thing. An enormous vertebrae. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to go out and about and continue questing, uh, getting the new equipment for our crafts NPCs, crafts people. Uh, I just finished planting a whole bunch of corn because I was pretty much out of it. Um, so we'll get that going, and um, I also want to start planting um, some of the stuff that we need for this new food. Um, so let's do, let's make sure we have some seeds going before I actually make it with the extra stuff um so that way you know we uh we can sustain it so let's take a look in here uh, you're currently making three more fossilized bone dust um do i have seeds in here you know what it, i don't yeah you know we doc on it we need more of we, we got to find more of those fossilized bones um, yeah, we, re we need to make that a priority because I could make, you know, I can make the stuff now, um, or Emily can to be more precise, but I can't make the seeds for it. So here's what I think we'll do. Um, let's grab, let's grab a half of a stack of each type of stuff here. Um, so it's, I, th I think it's primarily those three things in terms of stuff that we would grow. Let's just double check this though. Uh, yeah, we can make forest beets. That's not a problem. Sugar cane, bell peppers. We got lots of tomatoes, eggs. That's just for, yeah, that's just for casting though. We're not really going to wor worry about that. And eggs we can't grow anyway. So yeah, it's really just... It's really just these three things here. I'm going to put three of those in this non-pulling chest. So that way it won't be pulled for, uh, you know, for crafting. And then, and then once the bone meal stuff is done here, or the fossilized bone dust is done, then we can use that to start growing seeds. And then anything else that we have left, plus we're going to be picking more of this anyways. Um, we can start making some of this this better food. I'm like really low on salt, aren't I? Let's see. Energy only needs sugar cane. Um, so we should. These are probably a stack of tw of twenty, right? Um, there's twelve. So let's make eight more. No, oh, I guess we can't make eight more. Okay, so we got that. That's going to take the place of our popcorn. Uh, because it gives us 20 stamina recharge, whereas the popcorn only gives seven. It's a huge increase. It's almost a, a three times increase, which is nice. Um, and then the dexterity food, that takes bell peppers. This one takes bell peppers also. All right, how many of those do I have? Well, I guess it's. I guess it says so here, doesn't it? You know what I need, those? I need salt. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we have 33 bell peppers. That means we could, based upon the bell peppers alone, we could make 10 of those and 10 of those. So we, we should be able to make a stack of five each. Oh, no, that, that makes five. Okay, does this also make five? Yes, it does. Oh, okay, no, we can make a lot more than that. <laughs> In fact... We should be able to make one stack of five of those now and one stack, <clears throat> excuse me, of five of those. And um, yeah, okay, cool. Look at that. So that's gonna replace, okay, hold on. The sugar replaces the popcorn. So we know that for sure. And this is dexterity, which will replace, I think, this. Yeah, the vegetable soup. Okay, so that'll go there. And then this is constitution and dexterity, which replaces this. 
And so we still want to keep the chamomile tea because that's health and endurance. Okay. So this food is now obsolete. I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm going to hang on to it, but it's, you know, it, 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 we'll only use it if I get into a situation where I don't have enough ingredients to make the other stuff. Okay, so what I will do off camera then is I'll go mine up a bunch of salt. And, um, you know, that way we can have salt to make that stuff. Uh, actually, though, you know what? Do I have salt in here? I don't. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go get a bunch of salt. Now, um, this stuff is done in a couple of seconds. Okay, so that gives us three fossilized bone. And what do the ingredients call for? So we want to make... Um, bell peppers. Oh crap, that takes two. Okay. Um, and we all, and we also want to make the other, uh, we don't need to make sage right now just because I'm not a caster, so I'm not as worried about that. What was the other thing? Say, oh, sugar cane, right. Oh, nice. That doesn't even take the dust at all. Okay, cool. All right, well, in that case, um, what does the sage take, just out of curiosity? Uh, where is it at? Sage seedling. That just takes one bone meal. Okay, so we'll since we have three bone meals in total, we will do one thing of sage leaves. And then these will all make sugar cane. Okay, so we're going to need water. We're going to, we got the bone dust. We're going to need farm soil. Um, oh, I guess I have some peppers in here too. And then let's grab, wrong, wrong bin there. Let's grab sugar cane and sage. Okay, so you need water, bell peppers, and bone dust. You need uh, sage, water. Did I not throw it? Grab the water back out of there? Oh, I did. Where did it go? Water. Oh, it's right here. Sage, water, and oh, and bone meal. We got tons of bone meal. Um, I've got like my grinder is almost completely full of bone meal. I have more than I really probably should have. Okay, so that'll get some sage seedlings going, and then everything else is just sugar cane. So farm soil, water, and sugar cane. Excellent. Okay, so we've got sustainable crops now of our new stuff. Uh, got plenty of chicken in those, you know, that stuff's easy. To do plenty of strawberries plenty of everything else um beets i should probably plant some more beets pretty soon um i am actually quite low on those as a matter of fact so i'm gonna pull the peppers back out of here um no actually let's leave these three things in here and those will always just be used for seeds but I'm also going to pull out, uh, at one time I made a whole mess of beets, but I've been using them because you use them for the fell task of the, the fell potion. So let's pull those back out. Well, let's, let's split it in half. We'll pull three out and almost I'll, I'll make seedlings out of, out of that when the, this, this, uh, batch here is finished. Okay, cool. So that should be enough for farming for now. Put this back here, get the water put back in here. All right, so we're slowly accumulating um, bronze arrows, but we need tin to make our own bronze. See, this still hasn't changed. What about this? That hasn't changed either. So I think it's because we need tin ore. We found tin bars, but I think we need to find tin ore to open up that recipe. My guess is it's probably gonna be this that we will 
make it in. Um, so we'll be on the lookout for that. I believe tin is only found in the shroud. We also need from the shroud. We need more of those ammonia sacks, uh, ammonia glands. We need the tin ore. We need mint mushroom meat. So we have three things that we need from the shroud. I don't know where we're going to get that from, but I'm sure we'll find out when the time comes. So yeah, just a lot of things to do, but lots of fun. Lots of fun. Okay, I think we're ready to set out. We don't need to take the... Uh, oh, I guess I have more bone dust in there. That's good to know. Let's sort that. Let's sort this. And I could... Well, no, I think we'll be fine with just what we have with Flask of the Fell there. Oh, it's so cool that we got this better food now. Absolutely amazing. All right, let's take a look at our quest and decide what we're going to work on next. Uh, we were going after the tanning station, and that's the alchemist. Yeah, we I mean, we need all of it, right? But we're, we've we kind of... Let, let's go after this. So let's make this the main quest. And, whoops. Let's take a look and see. Oh, man, that is way the hell over there. Southern Caravan. Hearts of Iron. That's where the iron mine is. That is so far away, though. <laughs> Good Lord. We're going to have a lot of traveling to do to get to that spot. That is for sure. Okay. Um... I can, uh, I can still make two more altars. Okay, so we're okay for that for the moment. So blacksmith's request and... See, this is Southern Caravan and this is Southern Caravan. Or, no, this one is. Hmm. I don't know. That's not even on my list, though. So I guess we'll have to figure that out when the time comes. I don't know what this is. And I don't know what that is either. So, yeah, I guess, I guess we will just keep going after the tanning station. That seems to make the most sense to me. All right, so that means we want to go to this altar here. Am I fully rested up here? Let's, uh, yeah, we are. Okay. We still have a little bit of flask of the fell left, too. We wanted to go to here. All right, let's do this. In need of a tanning station. Okay, so along the way, um, I am gonna pop down into these these little um, shroud areas to keep keep getting mushrooms and and the things that we need. Uh, for that so we we get the mint mushroom from pretty much all of the fungi types of plants there's that and there's also okay and there's this this will work too tiger over that way. Alright. And I think that's I think that's all we can harvest from this little tiny shroud area here. Okay. Let's keep moving towards our destination. I'm not going to pick any more sage because uh, again that's not something I'm planning on having us use much anyway. What am I using for arrows? Yeah, let's make sure we're using those. Are you stuck? She must be stuck. Otherwise, it'd be coming after us. You know, I don't think we need that anymore. I mean, I still, I already have multiple sacks of it. Um, and I certainly don't need bones at the moment, so I'm not even going to harvest that stuff. Save ourselves some inventory slots. We came through here before, but we don't need to go in there again for now. Oh shoot, is it? It's getting dark already? Oh man, alright. Maybe we should stay here and sleep.
I have this problem in this game where sometimes I can't move from side to side after you know, I don't know, I don't know if it's after I get stunned or something, but it's just really weird. And it's probably going to get me killed someday too. <laughs> I don't even know if there is a bed here. We've already read that. We've already read this too. Okay, let's go inside here. Might as well loot the lootables. A Fowler chest. Stamina and mana. So that's a caster piece. It looks kind of nice. We won't... Excuse me. We won't be wearing it, but... We'll take it. Just Well, unless we decide to spec into a caster character for a while. Alright, I'm going to go back home and sleep because... There's no reason not to. I'll see you guys back here in the morning. Alright guys, we are back. It's morning and we are going to continue heading east from hither at least that's the the plan except for there's a huge huge shroud canyon here let's take a look at this here well the blacksmith's request is potentially on that bluff along with a flame shrine okay well I mean shoot I don't want to just dive off into here without a way out. It looks like there might be a ramp over that way. Um. Okay. Yeah. Let's uh, let's go work our way over that direction and see if that provides a way out, in and out of the shroud. Because the thing about that shroud too is it, it doesn't look like there are a whole lot of high spots inside of it that you can get out of. Oh. Oh. Fossilized bone, you guys. I'll bet you that's what this is. Look at that thing. An enormous vertebrae. There we go. <laughs> Alright, cool. We have got a gigantic source of fossilized bone. Cool. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, mine up a whole big old stack of this. Okay, I mined up uh, 30. I want to um, save my pick for. Um, well, actually, you know what? I have a repair station here. Let's just go back there and repair it really quick since we're not that far away. Uh, but what, what I was saying is I wanted to save it for um, when we run into to 10, but now it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go. All right, we have some tigers over there. Um, if we look... Okay, wait a second. Yeah, we want to... I, th I think that spot... In need of a tanning station to get back down into the the uh, void here, or not the void? The what? Are the, what is this called? The shroud. My brain's not working this morning. It's just right around over here. So let's just put a waypoint um there. Okay. I'm not gonna bother killing those tigers because they don't really have any resources we need at the moment. A bunch of vuka down here. Guess we should kill them for because they drop stuff that we do need and we get XP. Uh, what am I using? Copper arrows? Yeah. Oh, he hit me! You doy rat! How dare you hit me for slaughtering your entire tribe? Rude. Okay, let me uh, loot all these guys. Here's a silver chest. 
apprentice wand. 34 damage. I don't see their little blessing altar thingy here, though. Unless it's over. Oh, I bet you it's right here. Oh, nope. I mean, this is where it normally would be, but it's not in there. I wonder if that's just a randomly spawning thing. Okay, well, I've got a buttload of hide and um, some eggs, a few feathers, a few chicken wings. And I also expended like half of my copper arrows. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to the base <clears throat> and replenish my arrows, do the thing. I'll meet you guys back here, here in just a moment. All right, guys, we are back uh, at the VUCA camp that I just slaughtered. And I decided to bring, <clears throat> excuse me, I decided to bring my marksman set since we know for sure we're going down into the shroud. Just because the penalty that the northern army gives us is really, really bad for that. Um, I wonder if this is a cave passage. I hope that it is. Oh, look at that. There's 10. Fantastic. All right. What is that, Avuka? Yeah. So I guess we don't have to go down in the shroud to get 10. Um. Okay, we'll come back to... Actually, here, I want to tap it just to see if it opens up the bronze recipe for us. It should. I would think so. There we go. Transcendental screen, a blacksmith, and ten more. Very cool. Large chest, a carpenter, and one more. Bronze bars. There we go. That's smelter. That's what I was looking for. So once we expend this current batch of copper arrows that we have we will now we'll start making bronze arrows as our normal arrows that's amazing okay well I'll tell you what I'm going to <clears throat> this is a day of back and forth here <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and harvest all of all of this up and then go back to the base repair drop it off and then I'll meet you guys back here again in just a little bit All right, guys, we're back at the base. Um, as you can see, I was able to get 46 ore before my, my copper pick broke. Uh, so let's look at the smelter here. And to make bronze bars, we need copper bars and 10 bars. Okay, so for the, uh, for the flame upgrade, strength of the flame, we need a total of 20 10 ore. So I'm going to take 20 of these and just stick them in the, the chest here. Uh, no, not that chest. Because uh, I, I put 20 fossilized bones in there, which we also need. Uh, so let's split this in half. And split that again. Split that again. Six. And we need two more. I, w I really wish we could pull one off at a time. Maybe there is a way to do it, but I, I haven't figured that out. And then the rest of the 10 ore... Um, because I don't think, <clears throat> I don't think we need raw 10 ore for anything else, as far as I know, anyway. The arrows, the bronze arrows require them to be bronze bars. Um, do you have anything that requires raw 10 ore? Sun Make Temple Stories. Home. Heading to the Kendall Waste? Best be on your guard. My Auntie Ellen was cursed in one of... Them sun temples. One of them sun. One of them sun temples. My God. <laughs> Struck by this ghostly skull from below, she said, teeth chattering. Tis true. Well, most likely, you know Ellen, always a tale taler, but never a liar. Uh huh. Isn't Emily from around the Kendall Waste? Maybe she knows. I bet she'd babble. Okay. So that's a new quest, but the Kendall Waste are are the the next region beyond the pillars uh, of creation. So it's going to be a while before we get there. Okay. So you don't require any. bronze ore you do require bronze bars and you don't require any bronze 
four. Secret doors. Secret basement door. Limestone block. Yeah. Water well. Um. How? how uh, wooden, oh, here we go. Wooden bucket right here. Nice. So we can actually make our own water well now. We'll have to do that. That'll be a, an off-camera thing probably. Okay, so he doesn't need 10 ore for anything in particular. Curses. Haunted sun temples. Why I lived near one. It was awful. See, our temples are hallowed halls and burial sites honoring the ancients. The spark there is fed by prayer and shields our dead from harm. But as the shroud spread, it light, its light dulled. Maybe our faith wavered when the catacombs came alive. Metal clanks, dark whispers. I held my prayers inside the tavern ever since. So spooky. Yeah, praying inside of a tavern. That's a good idea. Actually, you can pray anywhere you want to, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, um, that, we can make that too, but we'll worry about that later. Uh, we, are, we don't need to make that. Okay, so she doesn't have anything. <coughs> excuse me. She doesn't have anything that needs 10 ore. What about you? Wards. Hero shield. Uh, yeah, none of that stuff requires tin ore. I seriously doubt any of this would. Just bronze bars. Okay. Um, last person, of course, to check would be Acid Bite. Isn't this that spell that's supposed to be like way OP that I've heard people talk about? We found we found some of that anyway. Eternal Ice Bolt. Magician set. That requires mint mushroom. Oh, that's cool looking. That's a really neat looking set there. Herbalist set. Bronze bars. But no tin ore. Okay, so I think we're safe to put the rest of the ore um, in here for smelting. Uh, all right, so let's go to browse recipes. We want, t uh, 10 bars and, oh, we're going to need wood acid for that. Okay. Um, I think I have, do I have wood acid in here? This is where I make wood acid if I don't already have it. Um, oh yeah, we got a full stack of it here. I also need this to make my healing spell too, but... It's not hard to make, so let's just throw a full stack of wood acid in here. And we already got a decent amount of charcoal. Okay, so that'll work on making 10 bars, and then we'll have to take those 10 bars along with the copper that I already have in there and change those into bronze. What I would like to do is make the bronze tools. Um, so the bronze axe, which requires four bronze bars and some linen. And the bronze pickaxe, which just requires bronze bars and some shroud wood. But that's probably going to take a bit. Uh, plus, we need a bunch of bronze bars for arrows, too. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, it's yeah, it's getting on in the day. So, I think I'm going to cut the camera here. I'm going to spend the rest of the day here at the base just working on stuff. I might even run out and grab some salt. And then in the morning, I'll meet you guys back at that cave where I was uh, mining up the tin. And we will um, see if we can get our get into the shroud from there. So I'll see you in the morning. All right, guys, we are back. Uh, I went out and mined up some salt, mined up some more tin at that place. I also set a flame altar down uh, by the tin mine and moved it away from right in here or wherever I had it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, we now have enough bronze to make the bronze tools. So let's go ahead and make the uh, smithing tool. Oh, that's right. We haven't found those yet. Damn it, Jim. <laughs> okay. Never mind. All right, guys, we are back. I have set myself up a flame altar right by the cave with all the tin in it. Um, and moved it from the uh, place where it was back over that way. And uh, let's see, I also went out and mined up a bunch of salt. I mined up the rest of the tin in here, as you can see, and have that all smelting back at the base. And we'll see what else. I, I did some more work in the garden, too. So now I have um, bell peppers, 
a little bit of sage and a bunch of sugar cane growing in the garden and uh, more beet seedlings being made. Okay, so let's proceed here uh, down into this cave. I'm assuming or hoping that this cave will get us down into the shroud and closer to our destination, uh, which is currently the tanning station. Um, if we take a look at this on the map, um, also though, this gets us, this may get us to the blacksmith's request as well. Uh, but that both of those are multi-level, you know, quests. In other words, we got to go here, then we got to go there, then we got to go everywhere, kind of thing. Um, all right, so let's go down through here, and we're gonna have some vukas down here to deal with. And I think what I'm gonna do here is. See, that just goes back outside again. Um, let's go ahead. Well, I'm going to actually hold off on my food and potions until... Oh, this is this... Oh, shit! Umber Hollow place. All right, you know, never mind. Let's, uh... Whoa, shit. These guys want to get it on, don't they? Let's go ahead and buff up. Um, since we're probably going to be going into the shroud, let's go ahead and use a shroud flask. Um, one of those and one of those. There, we are fully buffed. Uh, but, like I said, when we go into the shroud proper, I'm going to put my other armor on just because we lose a whole lot of... Uh, whoop, wrong thing. We use a whole... A whole lot of shroud protection is what I was trying to say there. With this armor. Okay. Yeah, Umber Hollow came up multiple times in a lot of the notes we were reading in the last episode, so stuff will happen here, I'm sure. Okay, where does this go? Just out of curiosity. It looks out over the shroud. Okay. And this is a flame sanctum sanctum shrine, rather. I think the sanctum is when they're inside and the shrines when they're outside. We gotta get to that place there to do the next part of the blacksmith tool quest. Okay. And it looks like we're going down into the muckety-muck. All right. Well, let's go ahead and change our armor out here then. So we've got, we've got 11 minutes in the shroud. That's not bad. Not bad at all. We want to keep our eyes peeled for fungi so that we can... You know, get more of the mint mushroom stuff. I don't know what that is. I can't tell. Oh, it's a... Yeah, it's just an archer guy. Alright, let's, um... Pop that thingy. And we'll pop this too. So we can loot that stuff. And looks like we have spiders now. Or bugs. Okay, so we can either go keep going down that way or we can go off this way. Let's this might still just be an overlook though. I'm thinking it probably is. That's 
That's not deadly shroud, is it? No, it's just red glowing. Yeah, this is still an overlook. Okay, so we got to keep going down. Oh, our favorite good dude. Whoa. Ouch. No, we don't need bugs too. This guy's a bastard. Gotta try and hit him right in the top of the head. Got him, okay. I know I say this all the time, but I still say that is the toughest enemy, non-boss enemy at least, and even tougher than some bosses really, that I have encountered so far in this game. Still. <laughs> as far as we've come. Just gonna pop those. Alright, we're down in it now, man. We are down in the muckety muck now. Let's stop and get some more mint mushroom stuff. Okay, I got a stack of 50 and a little bit more. I'm going to run back up into that cave and just refresh my shroud timer really quick. One thing we could do is fly down from here. It's just that... There's red gobbledygook down there, and I don't know. It's kind of hard to see where it is. But I think we can probably make that work, especially if we just jump straight off. So let's do it. There we go. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, let's take a look at our map here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we want to get to here. So, yeah, I guess we just kind of keep heading south along the ocean of death there. And hopefully we can get to that area. We're kind of running out of land here, though, aren't we? Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Yeah. We ran out of land right here. Um, shit. Okay. There is, like, a some land off that way. Um. I don't think we're supposed to go this way. Yeah, we're... See, this land only... It stops right there, so... Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I think we're going to have to go this way and go around. Okay. Alright, guys. Um, It's getting dark. And I think we're probably out of time in this episode anyways. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go back to the base, sleep, repair, all that sort of thing. And when we start the next episode, um, we'll, we'll fly back down into the shroud again. But obviously we need to go this way to get around. There's some islands there. Umber Hollow is probably, I'm guessing, a big town. And I'm hoping, you know, that there's some high places or, you know, other things that we can... Uh, reset our shroud you know, timer while we're down there. The one thing that, that's become obvious to me in terms of why the shroud is more dangerous in this new zone is because it's just, it's bigger and it's deeper down than it is in the Springlands. Uh, so there's less opportunity, you know, to refresh your timer and stuff. So, yeah. But, uh, you know, also we have 11 minutes and that's with a, a, an elixir potion. 
uh, too. So we have a lot more time in the shroud. And it also makes me wonder if we might not want to invest in Inner Fires and Relentless Flame, both of which... See, this gives us five minutes in the shroud. This gives us two more minutes. So if we did both of those, that would give us a total of, of seven additional minutes in the shroud. Uh, we can actually take that right now, too. You know, under the circumstances, I think I am going to, because remember, we can always respec, so it's not like we're stuck with these points. So I think I'm going to actually take that. I think that's going to help us quite a bit. Um, see, so that, that pops us all the way up to 13 minutes now uh, in the shroud with a with a with an elixir potion, because it would be 14 without that. So, yeah, I think um, we're going to wrap this up here. That's kind of a cool screenshot. Let's um, let's take a quick screenshot of that. Turn my camera off. No, not like that. Okay. So, yeah, um, that's going to wrap up this episode here. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.